Hi, I'm Anthony from Taiaki Studios, and today we're going to be looking at using a live device in iCloud 8, uh, using trigger keys in real time. Uh, the live device I'm going to be using is the 3D Connections Space Mouse, uh, the Enterprise Edition. So this scene is set up in real time. It's using the Space Mouse to control cameras and lights with triggers, and it's using the Motion Trigger plugin to control the character's movements. So as I mentioned, uh, the live device I will be using is the 3D mouse from 3D Connections. And it has some really cool features. Um, one of the things that's really cool about it is being able to have customizable buttons uh, using like the macro system and things like that. You can easily make um, the buttons and triggers do exactly what you want it to do. This is brilliant for a real time environment. Um, if you've got a lot of things going on, uh, working with like OBS or doing live streaming, you want to be able to just access those um, triggers from your fingertips uh, without even having to look at them. Um, one of the other really cool things is the cap, which is the way that you move objects or move the camera around using the space mouse. And this works really nicely. It's got a nice smooth movement to it. It gives you a real like kind of handheld camera feel, but you can get some like nice smooth curved movement. Um, and it works really nicely as you can see uh, while navigating around. Um, in this uh, animated scene. So in the scene, you can see that the character is being animated using the live face plugin in real time. The character's gestures are using the motion trigger and the cameras are being triggered using the space mouse. So I have the space mouse set up so I can have this free camera for moving smoothly around the scene. Um, but if I want to switch over to a, a few lock cameras, I've got a wide view, a close-up of the character, a side view, and this is back to my free cam. And um, what I've also got set up as well is the ability to turn cameras on and turn different lights off. Uh, one of the new features in the hotkeys in iClone is the look at camera feature that we can now be triggered. So this works really well at keeping the character engaged, that is always looking at the camera. And what works really nicely with the space mouse is um, the ability to add macros. So basically what I can do is uh, tell um, one of the triggers, uh, one of the buttons on the mouse to change camera, but at the same time, look at that camera as well. So any camera angle I go to, my character is always going to be looking at the audience Another new hotkey that's been added in is the ability to turn on and off collections. And this is quite powerful because you can basically put anything you want in that collection and show it or hide it. And this works really well in creating lighting setups. So if I want to put on this red flashing light, I've put that within the collection and I just press my keyboard key, uh, my space mouse key. All of this can be set up to a keyboard key and it turns it on and off. So with the space mouse, you've got a whole bunch of buttons. There's, there's, there's loads there. Um, there's 12 at the top. And then anything that's on there can be reprogrammed to do whatever you want it to do. So um, you've got a lot of uh, functionality and power um, in using this. So the way this is being controlled is everything is being done by just my number pad, or you could use your keyboard, and my uh, space mouse. So everything I need to do is literally at my fingertips. So if I want to control and trigger movements on this character, I can do that while talking. Um, and then with my left hand, I'm moving around the mouse and I can trigger my cameras. So as you can see, something like this could work really well for a real time production. Um, it really gives you control over your scene while you can just concentrate on actually performing the character. So this is just one example of how a live device can be used in iClone 8. So it works really well for a real-time production workflow, but it's also really great for um, any sort of production, just for speeding things up. Being able to have the ability to customize those uh, keys right at your fingertips really helps you efficiently uh, work faster in your projects.